welcome to today's vlog. Um, you may be wondering what's going on a little from the intro. That's just a little extract from a project I'm working on with Telmo. He's a Spanish student on Erasmus and it's called eChef. Now, as you may have known when I mentioned in a previous vlog, eChef is Erasmus's answer to MasterChef. It is a small project that originally started from a conversation me and Telma were having one time about oh, wouldn't it be great if we had a TV show? Yeah, like we could do a cooking show, we could do a master show, we could do a master chef. We should create master chef. It just kind of escalated really quickly and then we decided to actually make it happen, to make a mini Erasmus cooking program so that we could both learn about new recipes, like hand on, like if we get a written list, we may or may not get it right, but if we can see how it's made, we're more likely to get the recipe spot on. And also to improve our skills working with um, Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. Top programs to use when you are creating your own um, video footage or animation. Now, I don't think today's vlog has the space for a full episode, but here are some highlights and some bloopers from the filming of my episode of Isha. Salut and welcome to today's episode of Isha. I am JD, also known as Flo, from England, and I'm going to be cooking a kind of Caribbean stir fry. I will need. Please no. I was under a lot of pressure. He created some sort of time, like go, 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 ah! It was the real deal. We've even had time to make a mini trailer to encourage the other students to get their meals prepped, whether it's a, like, whether it's a meal that's traditional to their country, or it's just something they're really good at cooking. The time is now prepared because eChef, it's coming for you. I'll update you on how the series goes. Hopefully we'll manage to complete and get around to everyone before the end of Erasmus. If not, we're hoping that students can film their um, cooking in their own country and then send us the raw footage to edit all together to add to the series of eChef. So even though it was a really hectic and slightly stressful day of cooking, there was time for a bit of an e-chef shimmy. <laughs> if that falls into that, I'd cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe a stop? Yeah. We somehow made a disco in the kitchen, and we've only got a small kitchen, so I don't know how that happened. I'm really looking forward to see what everyone else cooks, because my episode was stressful enough to make, so it's always nice to see how everyone else copes on the cooking front. I bet there'll be others who are like more calm, and then others whose kitchens just explode with all the ingredients, kind of like mine a little. But yes, here's too many more episodes of the Chef, and if possible, I will try and get a full episode on here. If not, I'll link to where the series will be held. So until then, a bientôt.